The Shippers Council of Nigeria has raised concerns over the financial losses resulting from delays in implementing the International Cargo Tracking Note contract. The Executive Secretary of the Council, Pius Akuta, who disclosed this during a House of Representatives hearing, said Nigeria has lost around $2.5 billion over the past five years or approximately $500 million annually due to the contract's non-implementation, the report. The hearing, organized by the House Committee on Shipping Services, Customs, Ports and Harbour, and Maritime Safety, Education and Administration, aims to investigate reasons behind the contract delay. Obum Neme Onwenyema, representing Antese, informed the committee that his company had obtained approval to implement the ICTN project Barked by the Federal Executive Council. He added that under the current administration, the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, and Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, are considering similar technology in the oil and gas sector at a higher cost. The Minister of Marine and Blue Economy, represented by the Director of Maritime Services, Babatunde Sule, noted that the initial contract was awarded in error and that Minister Buega Yutola had made efforts to revive it, though without success. Chairman of the Shipping Lines Association of Nigeria, Bumala BSAN, opposed the proposed cargo tracking bill, describing it as a toll gate for the government. Five years or thereabouts that this has not been implemented, Nigeria has lost not less than about $2.5 billion. Yes. So if we implement it, that is uh, what we should be able to put in the economy uh, within a period of a few years. I think, like I said, as a committee, we need to get the charge of that. We must have a target. No individual can hold this country to ransom. And you are the that we all of us can get. The government that went to the Fakura contained his name. But in the course of issuing the letter of award, it shouldn't have been issued that way to these people because it's just one contract. They are not separate contracts, it's just one contract. So my point is that since we are always liaising with the Ministry of Transport, Market and Blue Economy, the process of first determining implementation, the second responsibility to the relevant agencies and then the enforcement modalities would have to be worked out. In this country, we don't have any intelligence on trade. We don't know what is coming, where it's coming, who is bringing it. That is very vital. Here, we're going to give you, we'll give you from source the information coming. Committee Chairman Abdul Samad Dasuki concluded by stating that further hearings would be held to clarify outstanding issues with the session adjourning the after input from various participants.